This is the left side Ford Ranger bearing. It's ran cool and has just about no slop up and down this way. So I knew this one was good. I just want to do a sanity check. It doesn't sound like a bunch of the rollers aren't all screwed up. Got a bad axle bearing right rear. First thought it was a brake. Uh, brake hub was getting really hot. It's got about probably about 45 to 50 thou of flop. So this is the passenger side with the flare thermal camera. All I did was drive about two blocks. It's making a bunch of weird noise. There's the axle. And I'm looking toward the rear of the truck. Maybe 10 or 15 thou max slop. I'm just trying to... want to see how many axles I've got to buy. Okay, we've got the uh, looking toward the uh, rear. This is the driver's side, left side axle. And we're going to look at the thermal camera here. And it's about 74 degrees. So it's really not hot at all. Okay, this is the Ford axle, seven and a half on the left side that was running cool so the bearings probably good. I just want to show the slop. Zoom in here. I'm going to push the axle up. It's probably got about probably ten thousandths, maybe fifteen max. Need to put an indicator on there, but this has got basically Almost no slop compared to the one that's worn out on the other side I did in another video. It doesn't have the horrible sound that the rollers are making on the other side. I can turn this both ways. The car is in neutral, manual transmission. It's got the parking brake off, of course. This over here is a big block, so I don't get smashed. I got a jack up underneath the axle tube. Be careful working under a car. So that one is passable. Proper way is to stick an indicator on here and measure it. What happens is the seal goes bad, and then you lose fluid, and then they run dry. A roller bearing inner races on this axle. It's got a 5707 roller bearing. That's the uh, big block I used from another video to if I want to crawl under these something. It's just a bunch of scrap 2x4s. Not going to buckle. It was just a bunch of scrap 2x4s I was throwing out. I had to use that back in 2002. So I use these every now and then to work underneath vehicles.